Hello from the library. It's April 2020. We're in lockdown and remote working mode and we thought it would be a good idea to do a little video to update you on some of the new library resources that we have got in uh, for this period and also let you know some new services we have. So you'll see we have a library chat box installed where you can contact any member of the library staff and they'll be on duty there and get an immediate response. We've also set up this new library guide where you can access lots of new resources that have been given to us free of charge from our publishers for the duration of the COVID-19 closures. So these include lots of extra ebooks and online databases as well as all the free information on the research that's been done on COVID-19 to date. We've also moved some of the links on our library website just to make it a little bit easier for you to find the links to ebooks, e-journals, the databases and resources, exam papers and there's also a site search button you can do if you're looking for an information page on anything from the library. So we thought this might be a good time to do some ebook searches and give you a look at the ebooks that we have again, just in case you may not have used them a lot in recent times. To find anything from GMIT Library, you can start as always at the library homepage, library.gmit.ie. You could start with signing in to your own personal folder and you will be signed in then for the duration of this search. The benefit of that is you will be able to save material. If we just key a search for marketing management, you're in the advanced search page here. So the benefit of the advanced search is you specify authors or titles or subjects. But if we just do this as a general keyword search and see what results we get. We've chosen to default to all results, so we're going to get a large set. We get over 400,000. And again, marketing management, it would be a popular topic. But what we'll just do is look at a few different types of eBooks that we have on our catalog and how to access them. Let's have a look at the first title here. This is the library information page from the catalog. So you get all the bibliographic information, author, title, publication date, place of publication, and information about the book, as well as access to the links to access this title. If we click on the full text link to access this title, you may have to sign in if you hadn't already been signed in. And then the ebook will open within the host's interface. So in this case, it's ProQuest. Firstly, you will be brought to an information page about this title. And then you would see the options for reading online or download underneath the photograph of the book. So we're going to choose read online here and the ebook opens within the ProQuest service for us. We can see we can navigate using the table of contents on the left or you have navigational arrows that you can page forward and back over on the right hand side of the book. You also have the option of going directly to a specific chapter if you know which one you want. You can add a bookmark on a particular page for further use if you wish. That will save to your own personal bookshelf and will be there for you to access again because the system knows that you're logged in as a GMIT staff member or student. This page tells you also what your allowances are for printing and download, either chapter download or full download of the ebook. And this will vary greatly between different titles and also different hosts. In the case of this particular title, you can print or copy up to 43 pages, but the book itself is not available for full download. We know this because the download button is not active. However, you do have the option to download individual chapters. If you wish to save a chapter, you can choose the PDF icon that's on the top bar, and it will ask you, do you want the current chapter? 
and if you say yes you can also choose a citation style for this so I know a lot of the departments in GMIT use Harvard but you can select whichever one you want and then it will create a PDF document of that chapter for you so from here you can save this to your device or print. The good thing to know about ebook chapters is that you can download more than one at a time. They don't expire so they're not going to re be removed from your device like a regular download of an ebook might and they can also be uploaded to your VLE for use for the class. If we go back to our library record for this book, another feature we can look at is further down on the page other formats and editions and when you open this tab it will show you what are the versions of the ebook that we have in GMIT and click on them then to find information about that book. This edition of the ebook we've chosen is a PDF ebook and when we click on the PDF link we get this turn away where the ebook is already in use by somebody. So this would indicate that it's a single use license title and there is somebody already reading it or has it downloaded. So you have the option of adding your name to the list and you'll get an email when it becomes available or to come back later and have a look for that title again. Returning to the other formats and editions list, you'll see there are also some print copies of Marketing Managed by Kotler available in our library. You can click on those to get the holdings details and the availability details. We'll return now to our first set of results for marketing management and look at another ebook. Here we have a different marketing management title, but also an ebook. As you'll see, there are two full text links on the left hand side. When we open these, we see a slightly different interface. We know it's not ProQuest eBook Central. In this case, we're looking at a book from the EBSCOhost database and this is an EPUB format. But you'll also notice that your navigation is on the left, your table of contents and your main reading pane is on your right hand side. You also have your zoom options down on the right hand side so you can make the pages larger for small print or smaller if you prefer to view the full page in one. You also have your retrieval options up at the top so again you can save your um, record into your own folder so you can be able to go back and view it again if you're interested in just coming back to this ebook again and you also have your option to download your chapters as before and in this case you're going to download a PDF version of this particular chapter like the previous ebook, you can save this chapter or range of pages into a location on your computer and it won't expire, it will always be there for you. This particular ebook can also be downloaded for offline use. So you have on the top right hand side a full download button and it brings up the download ebook. So downloading is like checking a book out from the physical library and you actually have it for a period of time. So again, the publisher set up these, it's licensing there. So this particular one you get for seven days. It also tells you the recommended formats for your download. So you have PDF for desktop or EPUB for mobile devices. You also need to have Adobe Digital Editions installed. So this is ebook reading software and it's a free installation from Adobe and it doesn't take long to do. You can then use Adobe Digital Editions to view and read all your downloaded ebooks and it will also tell you how long you have left on them and they will expire once their lending period is up. When you're finished downloading your ebooks, you can look in your folder which is a link on the top on the blue bar and you will see there's a folder called checkouts which will show you all the material you've checked out or downloaded. There's also a site button at the top on that navigation bar and it gives you the option of a, any particular citation format you'd like. So again, whichever one you choose, if you just select that format, that's the one that will be saved into your information. Going back to our original set of results, I'm just going to focus on ebooks only in this set of results. 
and we'll see the number is reduced down from 400 and something thousand to 27,000. And just going to pick one more example to have a quick look at. It's Global Marketing Management further down the list here. So looking now at this title and this is again from a different host, Dawson Era this time. We're opening the book to read the book online. And when you look at the interface, you will see the similarities. You've got your table of contents on the left hand side. You've got your navigation bar at the top and your main reading pane on the right hand side. You also have a search option there. So you can key in a particular word or phrase that you might be looking for within this title. And it will bring up the list of all the pages which contain this particular word or phrase. You can then see that your word is highlighted so you can you view the context in which it is used in this chapter. You also have a notes facility within Dawson Era so you can manually add a note to a particular page if there's something you need to come back to or you need to set a reminder for within the text. You also have your other options at the top including citing, printing, downloading. So with printing from ebook hosts again you are restricted to a particular number of pages as you can see here. With this title you also have a download option. When you click on download a pop-up box appears the asking you the length of time you wish to download the title for so you actually have a choice here of up to seven days seven being the maximum but you can check choose one or two or whichever and it also asks you which reader do you want to use so you can use Adobe Digital or Cortex which again will be a separate download and whichever one you choose it will just open this in that reader for you to view and you'll see the next pop-up box will tell you how long you have that title for offline. So we close out of Dawson era and we're brought back then to the library information page here about this title. And again, you have the options here for your retrieval, for saving it into your own personal folder, printing the record, exporting it. You also can format the citation from the link over there. And at the bottom is the permalink. So you can grab that if you're, when you're putting it into a citation. Thank you again for looking at this short video on library resources at COVID closure style and also some of the ebooks. We hope you found it useful. If you do need to get in touch, don't forget we're all here behind the scenes waiting to help you. You have our chat and also if there's nobody online, we have new FAQ queues accessible from our webpage here and you can also email us at library at gmit.ie.